We have thousands of people watching the stream right now for the first release of Kingdom Come Deliverance gameplay. This is going to be 20 minutes of, well, what I'm hoping is going to be something qu quite interesting. 18. Brilliant. It's nice that this gameplay is actual gameplay footage. That's a the brilliant Roman start. Empire. 1403. Panie. Mój so we actually saw this in the gameplay teaser so it does look like we're going to be going down the same route as what the teaser showed us funnily enough it was a teaser for this proper polish voice acting as well from the get-go to the first look at the gameplay of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, a unique action RPG with a vast, realistic open world. And a grand Here we go. Story. Okay, so our first bit. Of... As the young lad Henry, you will so we've got a crossbow down there, the and what looks to be some sort of potion as well. Of the late Middle Ages. Our task for this quest oh. is to find two men at arms. Why does the map look so funky? I mean, it does look the same. However, why is Henry's icon so strange? I don't know about that. I've seen a lot of people talking about the health bar as well, about it, you know, because of a screenshot that was leaked. I don't mind it too much. I think it's fine. God, there's a lot of people in chat. Ranyek was last seen in the nearby village of Bilani, playing dice in the tavern. Let's go ask the local gamblers about him. Look at the scenery. I mean, this is very iconic to Kingdom Come Deliverance. It does look like quite similar. In fact, like graphically, it does look a bit better, but it's actually not it's as very early. good as the I thought it would be. Waking up to their everyday chores, milking cows, harvesting crops. Yes, of course, every villager and every person has their own routine that they go on. So you need to make sure you're catching them at the right time. If you go at night time, you're not going to be able to talk to them and you can't continue your quest. Lord be with you. Greetings. What brings you here so early in the morning? There. The innkeeper said you were playing dice already. with Runyak. You know Runyak? Then you must have a drink with us. Same to you. So, what we can see from this screen is very similar to the original KCD. I mean, when you're talking, you're gaining reputation. People are judging you and that will affect your choices a bit later on. Nice fellas. Well, see, they've got purses, and by the way, <laughs> I do, this is just a small fact, but the purses are all individually rendered because you can actually nick them off people. And you can see in the bottom, by the health bar just to the left of it, Henry's had a drink of beer. <laughs> He's a bit tipsy. Pigs! So where is he? Oh, we're about to what? be robbed. Where is he? I don't get it. What happened to him? We met this Runyek in Pshitoki. We even lent him money when he had nothing to play with. He swore he'd pay us back. Then we met here and played some more. Runyek kept losing, but he didn't know when to stop. What did he do to him? When it was clear he had no way to pay us back. We started it does look so similar to the first one, like graphically. I mean, it's definitely an upgrade, but the trailers have... I'm going to be honest, they have artistically licensed the advancement on graphics. The bastard got the idea to flee the other way. One thing I'm really interested to see is going to be the uh, the combat to see how that's changed and evolved because that's going to be one of the most important things and one of the biggest criticisms of the first game from what well, a lot of the mainstream audience. I personally quite liked it. Okay. So the similar thing with your reputation and being able to do speech um i guess the equivalent would be speech roles in dnd see how you can push your luck if you're better at speaking or you're more intimidating that's back in kcd2 as well people are talking quite a lot about the hud in chat i think the hud's absolutely fine the life of a true medieval adventurer isn't always about winning epic battles. That's disgusting. Saving damsels in distress and forging your own destiny. Sometimes it's about fumbling for corpses in a pile of shit behind the Balani Tavern at 7am. 
Who's done the commentary for this? Whoever is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Here we go. So you can see in the bottom right now that we've got a new icon, which essentially means Henry's stinky. Now, this is actually going to affect things because it means that people are less likely to talk to you. And even if they will speak to you, it's uh, less likely they're going to give you much credence and pay too much attention to what you're saying. Probably tell you to go away because you stink. Where are you going? He's very clean for someone that's just been lying in feces. Okay, so we actually have a better look at the HUD there. It looks exactly the same as the first KCD, I'm going to be completely honest. <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of liked how pretty the KCD inventory system was. Although there was definitely a lot of speak about... Oh, you can see he's actually physically dirty as well. His arm is physically dirty as well. That's cool. And a lot of people were talking about how it's like style over to substance though. Fellas, hold your noses and... The facial animations are definitely better. Oh, here we have our first fist fight. Aims to bring a unique okay, here we go. Realism and fun into every part it looks of the very game. similar, I'm going to be honest. Included. It looks less complicated. There's less... Is built on true medieval martial arts and wrestling techniques. Fluid, thrilling, and tactical. As in real combat. Oh, it's almost it. the same. As is equipping a good set of armor. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a pickle. I mean, that looks so much more fluid, to be fair. Oh, 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 oh my god. Never mind. That is it's absolutely brutal. I, we were having a fist fight to start with, and now we've just pushed a sword through his throat. Henry! Before someone notices the new corpse you murderer! Investigating. Yeah, she's gonna... What the Stop the witness. Shit. Oh, it's just you. Oh, so, there you go. She reacted to Stinky Henry. But I'll do that right away. As proven by this lovely... Also, as he went through the barn there, could you hear that the voice changed to sort of reverb around what would be Henry speaking as he's walking through vanish. Oh, I think she's just found it. There's some screaming there. <laughs> Should have killed the witnesses. ...bathhouse around, which is located nowhere else than in the great city of Kuttenberg. Okay, so we're off to Kuttenberg. And I think this might be a look at our second map. The crown jewel of the Holy Roman Empire. The Here we go. Of the kings. A place where See, this looks really nice. Okay, this looks really, pursue. really nice. The Bohemian dream and seek their fortune. A Graphically, with people to it has friends, redeemed itself. Watch your head, mate. And all sorts it looks so much like Rate, though. Like, so much like Rate. To uncover. Look at everybody going about their day, doing their own thing, having chats. Everybody interactable. Everybody has a reason to be there. Everybody has somewhere to go. This does look so beautiful. This is actually a feat of engineering, I think, this game. You're still stinky, though, Henry. Get into that bathhouse. Look at that guy in his arm. Look at that guy's armor. Don't cause any trouble. Got it? God be with you. See, the guards are still um, volatile as hell. It's not very nice, is it? What can I do for you, <laughs> you stinker? Jesus Christ. Woman, don't speak to me like that. I'm coming to get myself washed. Don't call me a stinker. Great, but it'll cost you. Although, to be fair, it's probably a smart business decision. If she says I'm stinker than I am, then I'm definitely going to get a bath. She definitely gets her money. I don't know about her voice. It makes me feel very, very uncomfortable. So I've just hit my microphone now there. Now it's very... A stroll around the city. It's very rare that I do um, unedited <laughs> reaction commentary. So it will be a complete mess. I don't know if you guys realise, but I spend a long time sorting out my lack of understanding for the English language when I come to editing my videos. Go about their work day. And once that's finished, they go home to their families or to the tavern to their beers. Are you whistling at me? People in chat are... Interested. Oh, hold on. You were whistling for your horse and she just thought she was whistling for her. You're going to get done on the Me Too movement here, Henry, if you're not careful. People in chat are complaining that there was no private services within the boathouse, within the, 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 the bathhouse. Now he's pissed off and you can forget about any sale. 
thrown your favourite hat in front of a beggar kneeling by the church. Come back a minute later and you'll see him wearing it proudly. Oh wow, so if you or killed the local innkeeper's husband, she'll be crying in front of her house the next time you go there, making you feel really miserable. <laughs> Okay, so that was essentially just talking about the effects that your actions have. You can put some clothes on the floor and the beggar will actually put them on. You can annoy people when, well, you won't get sold certain things. There's a guy in the stocks! Throw a cabbage! Go on! Henry's hungry. See that icon in the bottom right there? Oh, here we go. This is what I'm going to be doing. Oh, he's just done a drive-by shooting. This is like the GTA 6 before. Oh my god. I see he's getting what he deserves now. I guess this is what happens if you get caught. No, don't! <laughs> kill, kill, kill the man. Did you forget your clothes somewhere? Oh, at your mother's place when I was shagging her. Fucking hell, Henry. Henry! Henry! I mean, I'm not going to say that I wouldn't do any of this. This is exactly how I'm going to be playing, but... I mean, I guess War Horse made their audience. An appetizer. And now I'm hungry again. Of course you are, so mate. I it's time for <laughs> you see that guy running in the Please background? <laughs> and now, back to our good lad, Henry. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to cause mayhem. I'm going to do another murder challenge within this game. That sounds like such an unhinged thing to say, but... I need some help. A prime example of a random encounter. What is it you need? Okay, let's have a look at this random encounter. And I can't find it for the life of me. My leather satchel. I put it down here for a moment and now it's gone? Check the bagger. It's gonna be the bagger. Somewhere around here. I made sure it wouldn't be in plain sight. At least I think I did. Oh, a moment's destruction is all it takes. Someone must have filched it from you. If I don't find it. I'm it looks a little bit like the English no, uh, magician Wait, Dynamo. What are you doing? Give it back right now. Whoa. I've just been robbed. Okay, well, this is for Assassin's Creed. Bugger. 50 groschen. Pick him out. Worth at least a hug down the bathhouse. Oh, oh, so they are implying that you can still get private services in the bathhouse. There we go. Well, that was easy. Had enough. I now hand it back. Also, for a Everything you stole medieval me. lad, Henry yeah. has impeccable hair. That's all of it. Can I can I go now? Piss off. Kill him. Don't let him get away with that. You're acting like a child. Go and whistle somewhere else. Okay, I really hope that that is the most of the consequences, just comments, because if you're whistling to get your horse and someone's walking past and they get really pissed off, they try and beat you up, that's just going to be an absolute issue for gameplay. <laughs> I really hope that that isn't the case, but it, it looks like they just get a bit, well, verbal. I think this is probably the most alive world that we've ever seen in the game, surely. I've never seen anything that just feels like so realistic to a medieval city. Mate, you've stopped your horse. Get, get off. Get off, lad. Okay, so here we have a shop with a merchant that we can speak to. That's the shop guard, so we've got to be careful. Look at the. Okay, so the UI looks so much better. I mean, it's very complicated still. Fresh bacon is good. It does look kind of gorgeous, though. For longer journeys, wow. dried food is always better, as it doesn't spoil. I you like that a lot. From rotten bacon. I mean, the bows are awesome. I want to I wanna see some archery. Yeah, that stat screen was really, really nice. Now I just will categorize UI looks, looks a lot better. Let's proceed with our quest. People seem pretty happy with that in chat. People seem pretty happy with how the UI looks. And I think, you know... It was criticised for it being overcomplicated, a lot of style over substance, but I think it looks kind of beautiful. The world in KCD2 is filled with places to discover. Go to the ruins. Let's have a look at this old ruin. Yes. There might be something valuable. I think they should have got Tom McKay to uh, commentate this and have Henry play as Henry. He could be playing with himself live for thousands of people. Oh, that, there's a man. Oh, it's a bandit. Right, no. right, I'm going. Come on. Do you know what I think would be cool? We should listen to Mr. He sounded Scottish. And not provoke him. I think it would be cool if they didn't show that he was a bandit. Because it would then you can you have to find out, oh, is this person good or bad? And but now obviously we've got to 
take him out or sneak around him to find whatever he's guarding. But like, if it didn't say he was a bandit, it would be really awesome and letting the player work that out themselves just from your interactions with them. Let's just say, man. Something more quiet and drop the chainmail for a bit. Okay, so yes, this is a part of the first game, being able to take off your chainmail, putting on just leathers. You have less armor, but you don't make as much noise, which is kind of ideal for the situation. <gasps> Stone throwing is in the game. Oh, you got your little rabbit icon at the top. Sneaky rabbit. Beautifully brutal. Okay, so they've actually really implemented some stealth mechanics. I really enjoy that because there wasn't too much within the first game. Obviously, it existed, but... Things like being able to whistle and throw stones and stuff, really nice additions. You could just knock them out, mate. I don't know if they deserve to die unless they're guarding, I don't know, the corpse of a small child. But you could just knock them out, take their money and run. But as we've already established, Henry is an absolute bastard. Okay, we're getting the crossbow out. Here we go, we get to see some crossbow action. That's all I've really wanted. That's all I've ever wanted in life, really. An alchemy lab. Wow. Of course. Oi, Pinkman. God damn. What were you trying to do there? I'm confused what he was trying to do. Was he trying to like threaten him and maybe that they sometimes can surrender? Dear God, that shield is effective as hell. I do love the blood and the degradation on clothes and things like that as you hit them. Look at the blood splatters on the floor. There we go. Broken the shields. The weapons and shields can fall apart during combat if they're damaged enough. So it always pays off to take... I think the combat looks so much smoother. I mean, it's still going to have, I think, some of the same issues that the first one did. One thing that they're not showing is multi-opponent combat, which is uh, kind of the first and biggest downfall, downfall that the first Kingdom Come Deliverance had in its combat. Maybe there's a reason they're not showing it right now, because it still is quite, well, janky. Victory at last. You didn't even get another hit on him. He just saw you duck. I guess, you know, if you look like a Ninja Turtle, they're going to surrender. Let me live. Kill him. Kill him. Give me everything you have. Shame on you, Henry. You All right, easy now. Just let me go and I'll give you everything. You promised to free me. Now keep your word. If you rewind a few moments you back, take his shoes off. You can even see he gave Henry his red shoes. Yeah. <laughs> but it could have been much worse for him. Oh. Oh, well, well, there we go. Mercy killing us back. Oh, God. Why does Henry look so grumpy? I actually think that this is going to be so much more like a war crime simulator than the first. I mean, you could do it in the first, but this feels like there's so many more options that Warhorse have lent into. There we go. Save your schnapps. Oh, yes. They've called it something else now. Save your schnapps. Oh, no. A classic period potion through which you save the game. This so, is worth the three kills. they were debating whether they bring this back because it was like a controversial thing that you could only save if you slept. Or you drank Save Your Schnapps, which was an item that you had to find in the world to save the game. I think a lot of people didn't like that. I personally thought that was absolutely ridiculous. But they brought it back anyway. But it was modded out in like two seconds anyway. The second so. man on the list called Adam I think it's a completely ridiculous thing to have an item in the game that affects like breaking the fourth wall. And the gossip says he was caught with the butcher's wife. Look at that cow's bum. Oh, it's a pig. So I've, I've made that mistake before. That was a rough day at the infirmary. Good evening to you. I'm looking for someone. And the innkeeper said you might be able to help. So we've gone from bandit killer to private investigator now to find a cheating scandal. Man at arms. He's a foreigner. A Pole. They call him Adder. Who are you anyway? Some friend of his? Something like that. I just need to find him. Then you better hurry up. My old man wants to murder him. Why does he want to kill him? Because he's a stubborn fool who won't let me explain. And believes gossip over his own wife. 
Then calm down and tell me what happened. <sighs> Nothing happened. I mean, not that the Paul wasn't interested. He was looking at mm. me all night at sus. the end, but I avoided Sus. Him. I think she's sus. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help but notice. Is that bruise from the butcher? He doesn't mean it. Ah, uh, husband's sus. He doesn't know what he's doing when he's angry. Husband's very sus. Apparently, his brain falls yeah. out when he's angry. A potion for the pain. I think, as Henry, it's our duty as an... A, a potential night to go and beat him up. And where will I find your husband? Maybe we'll murder his family. Oh no, Outside she's village, his family. Ah, let's just cut There's off the line. The bloodline can stop. If you've got a you wife abuser, the, the bloodline they serves to be cut off. <laughs> Is that a controversial? No, that's not a controversial yeah. statement. Uh, your husband. <laughs> I've said it now. Over, the hurry up, please. We should hurry up then. A violent mercenary and a jealous wife beater behind the village can't end up well. Some dark themes being um, discussed by Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. You can see the chat is, well, doing exactly what it's expected to do. And sided on the wife beater and saying the wife cheated even though there's no evidence of it. Brilliant. <laughs> That's mental. <laughs> So we're back here now. I guess this might be the wife beater. Shut up! No one can listen to your damn gibberish. Twoja baba i tak do końca życia będzie pamiętać o mojej polskiej kiełbasie. He is very angry. Someone that's being hanged. It is interesting, and I want to. I'd love to know how they decide. Well, who speaks English and who speaks Polish? Well, I guess um, Tom McKay doesn't speak Polish, so they've got to do Henry in English. Leave him alone and untie him. Why would I do that? The voice acting quality does change between cutscenes and like pre-rendered stuff. If you're talking about the rumors in the village, it's all lies. Nothing happened. You don't know what you're talking about. You actually don't know that, Henry. I mean, it's likely, but you don't know that. You have just believed somebody else. You've swapped one rumor for another rumor. That's not good private investigating. We need evidence here, my friend. He might deserve to be hanged. Oh, no. Sorry. I saw that mark you left. You're the one. The guy that's not being hanged is the wife beater. Was it? What are you on about? You'll raise your hand to a defenseless woman, but you need a whole gang to take on a man. White Knight Henry here. Yes, boy. He's got the... Oh, he's failed. Go on. Take him out. So we've got to beat these guys up before this man, this apparently innocent man is strangled. We, he still might have cheated on the wife, but in fact, that's... Well, he still might have cheated with the wife, but in fact, that's irrelevant because the other guy um, decided to go off Mike Tyson on her and, you know, Henry's got to deal with that. And he's, he's dealt with it. He's dead. You've killed him. How... Oh, wait, they've got back up. I guess they killed them too quickly. How have they got... Never mind. The... Henry's just demolishing them. There's no... There is no way they put I feel hungry as a battle cry. <laughs> there is no... Okay. Fine. Okay, Warhorse. That's funny. That's really funny. Oh, kurwa mać. Mało brakowało. Kimkolwiek jesteś. No idea, mate. Masz krzepę. I think he's quite happy, though, to not be dead. He still could have. Oh, wait, hold on. Henry's a genius. He's killed the wife beater, and now it's not cheating because the husband's dead. The wife beater's dead, so now you can go with the girl. It's sorted. Henry, he's, he knows what he's doing. Henry. He's a better PI than I thought. Devil. He's waiting for you at the Devil's Den. Oh, just kurwa. Charge, see? I, all I can, all I know in Polish is kurwa. So, he keeps saying it. As you say, in the Devil's Den. That's where all of us are supposed to meet. Oh, złaciutki. Kocham cię. Chodź ze mną. Musimy to opić w czartówce. 
So apparently Henry can actually understand Polish. Go ahead. I'll meet you there later. Dobra. To tam się spotkamy. Kurwa. <laughs> He's still saying it. I love a translation for this. It sounds incredible. Day, there we go. You did good. Now, off to find a bed, a bite to eat, and prepare for more tales to come. Good. This concludes our gameplay showcase of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Get ready for more exciting peeks into this medieval adventure on our journey towards release February 11th, 2025. Okay, overall, I think that is really, really good. I really, really like what they've done with the gameplay. I think there's a lot of positives in that. I will be picking it apart and completely analyzing it once I've done a bit more research surrounding some of the lore and the history in KCD, and that will be in a separate video. So make sure you stick around the channel for that sort of thing. But this was just my initial thoughts, my initial reaction to, well, the first real bit of gameplay that we've got for KCD 2. Combat's looking fantastic, by the way. I really, really do like that. I love the piggies, and I think the scenery is really great. Now, graphically, I think it's a step up. Probably not the step up I think a lot of people were looking for with KCD 2, but it's still there. And nonetheless, I think the combat also has great improvements, especially with the stealth. So I'll be delving into that fully in a separate video and once I've really got my thoughts together. But yeah, make sure you stick around the channel for that. And well, we're just going to have a flow of KCD content this week. So you better be around for it.